Hello and welcome to day 45 of Invigorate. Today it's full body Pilates and core strength. All you will need is your mat and a bottle of water. Do the modifications where needed, but also challenge yourself and push to those more intermediate to advanced options where you can. In extending through your arms and legs and really lengthening the spine, you're also getting that benefit of stretching and flexibility combined with the strength work here. So really focus on that today, stretching out through the knees, squeezing your quads and really lifting tall through each movement. Let's get started together right now. Standing with the feet together here in a small V, shoulders down and back, take a breath in and out and draw in the abdominals. On the exhale, belly to spine. Just bring that awareness to your core. Good. Gently pull the shoulder blades together and now extend the arms up to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, control down. And again, inhale and exhale down. One more time, lift and down. Excellent, from here, step to the side, hold your lunge and reach over. Opening through the side of the body and now bring it together, step to the other side and lunge. It's just a small lunge here, reach up and over to the side. Good, let's repeat that to the other side here. Step out and reach and lengthen. Good. And then the other side, step out and reach. Now bring it back to the center, arms here in front of your chest. Let's push down and back through the shoulders, bend and calf raise up and plie and calf raise up, down, lift. Think about reaching the crown of the head high to the ceiling, away from the tailbone. Squeeze the inner thighs. Squeeze your quads, the front of the thighs. Good, keep going. Couple more. Strong arms. And one more here. Excellent. Now bring the feet to parallel. Just gonna turn side on. Take a breath and we'll roll the head and the spine forward gently. Let your body relax forward for a moment. Take a couple of deep breaths here. And now rolling up, draw the belly in. Head last, lift. Stretch the arms high to the ceiling and bring it down, roll forward. Soften the knees. Slowly up. Draw the belly in as you lift and now reach tall. Deep breath in and out. One more time forward. And slowly up, lift, and now stretch back a little more here. Gently opening through the front of the body, the lower back, and down. Good, now we're going to take a seated position here on the mat. Extend the legs forward, bring your hands back, lift the chest, flex and point the feet a few times here. Good to sometimes focus on the ankles. We don't often isolate these muscles on their own. Squeeze through the thighs, lift, flex point. Really lift the toes and point them down. Good. And now hold the point, arms forward, reach and stretch here.
Good, take a breath in, lift the arms. And exhale, reach forward again, draw the belly in as you reach. Press down through the legs. And inhale, lift. Exhale, forward. Two more times, inhale, lift. Exhale, forward. And lift. And forward. Good, now cross the right leg over, bring the left arm around and gently turn to the back. Other side here, bring the leg across, lift tall and turn the other way. Good, now bring the knees up, draw the abdominals in, hold under your thighs for the moment. Let's lift the chest. Inhale, exhale, draw the belly in tight. I want you to really lift through the pelvic floor, arms out and lean back. Now when you lean back, we're not curving, we're staying super tall here. Lean back and now spiral the arm around. Inhale, exhale, other side. Rotation around and bring it back. Really control the arms here. Not rushing, keep it slow, keep it purposeful. Inhale, exhale, push the arm back with strength. Inhale, draw the belly in, lift your chest. Exhale, press the feet to the floor. Inhale and exhale, good open and bring it around lean back a little more for some extra challenge if you like chest lifted control it back and four and back good open and bring it back Excellent, we're gonna pulse it here, lean back a little more for 10, lift tall, scoop in your belly. Good, ground the feet, four, three, two, one. Now extend both legs forward, I want you to separate them slightly, feet flex this time, toes up, hands back behind the head, and you're squeezing through the thighs so the heels are really up off the floor here. And we twist to the side and spiral it back around. Turn, very small turn here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Belly tight. Try not to collapse on the turn. Lift your heels. Squeeze the thighs. Lift higher, elbows wide. Really draw in your abdominals as you turn. Have that control. Exhale, inhale. Feet flexed. Hips steady. Good. Now point the feet, lift and then reach forward. Keep the hands back here behind the head. Push down through the knees. Lift, flex the feet and then come forward once again. Good, point the feet, lift and forward. And lift, flex the feet and forward again. Excellent. Bring the legs together here. Point the feet down and control to the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. And bring it down. Well done. Hands back behind the head. Let's lift the chest and shoulders. Single leg lift and lower. Keep your upper body off the floor here. Draw in the abdominals. Let's really scoop in through the belly. Straightening the legs, keep the control here. Tighten the glutes. Squeeze the thighs. Lift the shoulders. Up, 
and down. Lift and down. Aiming for straight knees. Do the best that you can. Even if the leg goes a little way up, that's fine. Work through it and the legs will get more flexible as the weeks go on. Lift and lower. Shoulders up. Lift. Keep going. And lower the chest here, well done. Arms to the ceiling, take a breath. Squeeze the legs together, exhale, lift, and now pulse the arms up, 10, tummy tight, nine, and eight, keep the legs grounded, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, well done. From here, straight leg lift, opposite elbow moves across, and lower with control. Lift, other side, down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Draw the tummy in, good. And up, down. Exhale, inhale. Up, good, and down. Keep the control. Let's make sure the core muscles are doing the work here, not the neck. Tighten the glute muscles. Good, and four. That's it, and one more. And down, well done. Have a little break here for a moment. And then lift the legs to tabletop. Now if the feet are getting a bit tight or a little bit of a cramp, feel free to just move them, flex and point a couple of times and then let them be neutral rather than fully pointed. Arms up, exhale, lift. Stretch the legs out, bring them in, and move to the floor. Lift, out, in, and back. Keep that control, lift, extend, good. In, and back. Up, out, in, and lift. lift up two more here lift and up And lower to the floor, well done. Knees side to side. Straight into hundreds right now. Lift the legs to tabletop, keep them there, or extend out for a little more challenge, or even lower just above the floor for the advanced variation. Do what works for you. Grab a small pillow under the head if needed and place your head down if you have to throughout. Inhale, lift. Exhale, here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Scoop in your belly. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Halfway. Re 
reach through the fingertips. Belly tight. And in. Well done. You would have felt that one on the core for sure. That's always a good one. Well done. Extend both legs out to the floor here, heels together and arms grounded down into the mat. Squeeze your inner thighs and glutes. Let's lift one leg, six leg circles around each way. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, one and two, three. Let's keep the other leg pushed to the floor. Reverse. Good, lift and lower with control. Change sides, extend the leg, circle and six. Good. And back. And lift the leg, lower with control, well done. Moving into single knee stretch, pull one leg in, wrap one hand on the knee, just below the knee and one hand on the ankle not interlacing the fingers, one on each. Extend the other leg 45 degrees. Inhale, swap. Exhale, swap. Good, inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep your belly tight. Really push the leg out. Good, inhale and exhale. And four, good, three, two, one, and bring it down, well done. Have a short rest here. And now let's move into the double knees. Pull both knees in towards you. Let's lift the shoulders, draw the abs in. Inhale, stretch the arms and legs. Exhale, circle around and pull the knees in. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good. going. Shoulders up, two more. In and lower. Well done. Let's extend the left leg to the floor, bring the right knee in for a little rest. And swap sides. Now pull both legs up into tabletop once again. Let's this time extend the arms out to the side and then bend the elbows to a 90 degree angle. So the backs of your arms are on the mat or on the floor nice and firm. Inhale, knees to the sides and exhale back. Other side, inhale across, exhale back. Inhale across, good, exhale back. Really important here to anchor down through the backs of your arms and the shoulder blades. Draw the belly in, keep the inner thighs pressing together. 
and now extend both legs up. Let's continue that. Bring it back down to the bent knees if it feels better for you. Squeeze the thighs. Control. Nice work, keep it here right in the center. Lift the arms up, grab around the right leg and lower the left just above the floor, tummy tight. Inhale and exhale, and inhale and exhale. One, two. Shoulders up, good. And six, five, one, and in. Now bring yourself up off the floor there, well done. Let's bring the feet together here. Sit tall and take a stretch forward. Doing really well so far. Excellent. Let's bring it to side bend. Bring the elbow under the shoulder. Let's tuck the legs back. Full variation, of course. Straight. Okay, so you're going to lift and then lower or bend your knees. Let's go for 10 here. Abdominals are strong. Lift your chest. And one, two, three, four, Pulling tight around the waist. Good. Hold this last one up. Rotation under for five. And lift. Four. Good. And three. Two. One, up and down. Well done. From here, extend one leg out, 15 leg raises. Good. Control down. Keep going and a few more. Well done, sitting up, let's bring it to the other side right away, down onto the elbow, which is lined up under the shoulder. Option one, keep the knees bent. Option two, let's extend it out to the full straight legs. Here we go, lift and down. Two, lift. Tighten around the waist. Good. And hold the thoracic rotation under for five. Nicely bringing it through. And down, well done. Extend that top leg out and lift. 15, control down. Shoulders back. Good. Squeeze the thigh. Last four. Well done. 
bring the knees in, let's press it up here. Moving on to hands and knee position. Tuck the toes and we're going to do the abdominal hover here, holding for 10 seconds. Lift the head, take a breath in and out, draw in your abs and pick up the knees. One, two, three. Good. Now kneeling up, let's alternate that with some hinges, extend the arms, leaning back, keep strong through your core, through your hips and legs. Five and four. Squeeze the thighs, tighten your glutes. Three, two, good. And one, bring it back down into that abdominal hover here for 10. Three, two, one. Tuck the toes, lift and hinge back for five and lift. Tall chest. Nice work, bring it down. You have the option here of adding the opposite arm and leg in the hover for more challenge. Lift and extend one leg and the arm and down. You might just want to do the leg one at a time. Otherwise, try the arm. Steady through the center. down lift take a breath arms out and five hinges back and two good and three excellent let's bring it down once again this time we're going to hold the right leg out for 10 seconds in the hover position. Take a breath, exhale, draw the tummy in and lift. Extend the right leg out, hold 10, nine. Lift the leg, bring it down, change sides and 10. Hold strong. Bring it down to the knees. Come up for your hinge, extend the arms. And five, good. Four, three, two, one, excellent. Bring it down to hands, knees here. And we're going to do three cat stretches. Exhale, lift the spine, inhale, release. Two and one, and now pressing out into full plank here. Lift and lift, shift forward and back. Ten, move back, and nine. This is a bit much. Go back to your single leg extension, forward back. Head up a little. Two and one. Bring it down to the knees into rest pose here. Good. Pick it back up to that full plank position. And let's turn to the side and hold. Lift one arm. Bring your inside knee down if needed. Hold strong 10 seconds. Two. 
Stay here, move to the center, keep the control, hold strong. Turn to the other side, knee down if needed, and hold. Good, bring it down to the center for five, four, three, two, one. Now rest on the knees, lean back into rest pose right here. Pick it back up again into your full plank. Hold, right leg comes up 10 seconds. And down, and lift. Good, now pick it up into pyramid. Elevate your hips, your sit bones. Allow the head to drop down for the moment. And we're going to step the right foot forward here in between the hands. Move the arms up, sink down through your back heel. Hold. Arms out to the side. Now bring your hands onto your hips here, lift the back heel straight into a lunge, down, 15, lift your chest, let's move slow, good. And hold this one down, arms up and down for five. Control, shoulders down. Really push with strength as you lower your arms. Good. And bring it to the floor. Step back into pyramid once again. Up and back. Bring your left foot forward. The back heel grounding down. Reach the arms up. Let's go for this nice warrior stretch before the lunges. Open through the arms, pull the arms back slightly. Good, now lift that back heel into position and lunge. Good, shoulders back, down. Always squat of course if the lunges are not right for you. Slow. Hold this one down. Good, and arms lift and down strong and four. Three, draw the belly in. Two. One, bring the hands to the floor. Step back to pyramid stretch. And hold. Bring yourself through to plank. And to the knees, take the hands a little wider, 15 slow push-ups here. Inhale, exhale. 
do them on the toes if you prefer for that challenge. Take your time. Keep the neck lifted. Good, and stretch back here. Move out into full plank once again. Let's turn it into the side plank. And now bring one foot on top of the other. I'd like to challenge you here with a single leg lift. Now you can always bring the knee down, of course, and lift the leg from here. But if you feel balanced and ready, bring the feet on top of each other and lift the top leg. Good, let's try that to the other side. Turn. Find your balance, one foot on top of the other first, and then when you're ready, lift the leg. Well done, bring it down. Now keep this plank position. Lower your chest first to the floor. Three, two, one. Now extend the legs back, keep them squeezing together and lift into Sphinx Pose, which is elbows under the shoulders. Lift your chest and press down through the forearms. Looking up. And lower yourself down, open the elbows apart. Bring the arms to a 90 degree angle here. Let's split the legs apart just a little more. Keep the thighs working. Lift the shoulders and arms, float the arms forward, pull back and then down. And lift, forward, back, down. Abdominals in. Let's lift one leg at a time. Keep that leg up throughout the whole movement, then swap. Other leg lifts as the arms extend forward. Still have that awareness to keep your abdominals in. nicely through all of the back muscles here. Two more. Bring the hands just in front of the shoulders, gently pressing up here. down. Squeeze your leg muscles together. Bring the arms right down next to the thighs. Elevate your chest and arms up and then turn the hands over and under for 10 from the shoulder joint. So pull back, shoulder blades together and under. Over and under. Really emphasize the upper back here. Lift the chest. Bring it down for a rest here. Good. 
This time sweep the arms back, lift the chest and then push the arms towards each other for 10. Squeeze triceps, work upper back. Lift your chest. Good, keep moving. And bring it around for a rest. And now sweep the arms back, lift the legs off the floor at the same time. Hold the legs strong here. Knees are straight. Add one arm forward, push back, other arm forward, back. Now both arms forward, back, and then lower. Take a breath and repeat. Lift, strong legs, strong arms. One and back. Other side, forward, back, and now both. Forward, back, lower. Lift. And one arm. One arm. Both. Lift. And one arm. Both. lift. Keep your chest up, control the movement of the arms. One more. Both back and down, hands under the shoulders gently pressing up. Well done. and lower to the floor. Stretching out both the arms and legs here. We'll start with a few slow swimming preps and then move into the faster variation. Keep the chest up, one arm, one leg, opposite sides, up and lower. Lift and lower. Inhale, exhale. Good, and lift. And now increase the speed, arms and legs off the floor. Big movement. Arms up. Three. One, and wrist. Bring the hands behind the lower back, joining them together. Squeeze the legs together also. And then we're going to lift the chest just a little, kick the legs, double kick. One, two, press down and elevate the chest. And then lower again. One, two, down, lift and lower. One, two, down, lift and lower. If the shoulders are very tight, you can separate the arms as they lift out behind, okay? One, two, down, lift, lower. Squeeze the backs of the thighs. One, two, Tighten the glutes. Three more here. And rest for a moment. Pick up one foot and then the other as well with your knees apart. Now this is step one. If this is enough stretch for you, I want you to just hold it here 
for around 10 to 15 seconds. If you would like to progress and you feel okay in your lower back and you are a little more advanced, feel free to lift the chest, the legs and elevate your whole body here. Hold and lower. Let's take a breath. Good. Lift out, up, chest high. Push the feet back into the hands and lower. Breath. Lift. Knees up. And lower. Well done. Move the feet to the floor slowly. Press up into rest pose to stretch out those back muscles. Let your head rest on the floor. Slowly coming up here to the center of your mat. Let's bring it to the knees. Take your right leg out, left hand here underneath. This arm up behind the head. Let's lift the leg. Flex your foot forward and back. Keep the leg the same height as it moves. Good, tummy in, chest strong, elbow up. All your movement. so steady. Lock in those abs. Extend the arm. Now turn, bring your hand under the shoulder. the back foot keep the back leg exactly where it is and now press yourself up walk the hands in and come into a forward balance keep lifting through the leg now walk the hands back out again stay here in full plank with that leg lifted three and down, lower the knee, lower the leg, come back up through the center, take a breath right here, lift, and down, let's repeat that on the other side, extend your left leg and the other hand right out here, just out from the shoulder, lift, bring this hand up behind the head, and let's flex the foot, kick forward, kick back, keep your body still, two, and back, good, three, and four, squeeze the thighs. No movement through the torso. Good. Hold, extend the arm over. And now bring this hand to the floor. Let's turn, tuck that bottom foot. Keep this leg lifted exactly where it is. And now walk your hands back. Lift the leg as high as you can. Keep the supporting leg bent. Walk it forward. Move into plank, hold that leg there, lift three, two, one. Now lower the knee, bring the other leg in and rest pose. Well done, coming up. Let's take a seat here with the legs extended out. 
arms forward, squeeze the thighs, lift, draw in your abdominals. And we're going to go for a few roll ups, slowly down, control back. Inhale, exhale. Lifting up, control and stretch forward. If you're getting a bit stuck on these, remember to come halfway back to the hover position for around five seconds and then lift and stretch forward from there. So you're building up past that point where you feel it's the weakness. Inhale, exhale, and then over time you'll build through that and that sticking point will soon disappear. Press down through the legs. And exhale. Draw the belly in, push down through the legs. You'll find some days these roll ups are easier than others. It's just how it is depending on the muscles, what you've done today or the previous day. Draw the belly in, press down through your legs. Lift tall, it's always a work in progress. I find with roll ups. And if you don't do them for a while, you fall out of that habit as well. Control. Nice big stretch at the end. You're warm now, so feel free to push that stretch a little more to really work into it. One leg up if you like. Let's give that a go. And back. Other leg. Good. And lift. Good. And lower. Let's get into that V shape. For a moment here. Relax the feet, relax the arms. Good. And now from here we're going to bend the knees up. Now you'll bring the feet together with the knees slightly apart to just do a variation on the bridge for the glutes. So what we have is Knees hip distance, arms grounded, and feet together. Lift up and pulse through here for 15. Squeeze your glutes. Keep it high. Hold it here, close the knees in together, pull them in, and now extend the right leg up and hold that leg there. Pulse for 10. One, two, three, four. Hips up. Slowly swap, other side, lift and pulse. Keep that leg as straight as possible. And lower the hips. Bring the knees in for a moment. Place the feet together. Down once again, arms grounded. This time you're going to do 10 leg kicks on each leg. Now having the feet together today is a slight variation from hip distance, just bringing the legs and glutes into a slightly different angle. Lift, extend, up, flex your foot, down and up two, 
and three. Knees straight, hips steady. Lift, lower, good, other side, extend up, flex and down. Open the shoulders. Down and lower. Excellent, move the knees side to side here. Bring them in, circle around three times each way. And coming up, good. Now hands back underneath the shoulders, extend the legs forward. Let's go into our full leg pull here. Open through the chest and lift. Hold four, three, two. Now add the legs and six. Good, and down, extend the arms out and reach forward. And one more time, you can always bend the knees if needed, lift up and hold from there. Here we go, extend, lift, squeeze the glutes and six. down well done flex your feet reach forward and bring it to the front here tuck your legs back stretch to the side bring it down extend the legs straight out here and then reach up and over Good. Tuck the feet back the other way right now. Lifting tall, up and over. Good, now extend that leg out to the side and reach. Let's move it up to the knees right here. Take a nice hip flexor stretch. Opposite arm comes up and over. And soft sides here. Extend that leg and reach. From here and through the chest feet together and down neck stretch head over other side and we'll bring the feet hip distance and do three spinal rolls to finish here, take a breath in and out. Pull the chin to the chest. Relax forward. And slowly coming up, draw the belly in. Lift. One more. 
move forward. And up. And down. Take a breath here, float the arms out one more time. And exhale. Well done today, did an amazing job. Make sure you go and have a drink of water, post right now that you completed today's workout and how you went with it. Love to hear your progress with all of these routines. Stay in touch, Vanessa V Health on Facebook page and Instagram as well, connect with me there. Reach out if you need any help at all and keep up the great work. See you in tomorrow's video.